So now I have with me the address label template and you simply just print this on two by four inch labels and you would simply peel them off and stick them onto your envelope which is pretty straightforward but what I wanted to show you in this video is see how my invitation here I've printed on cream colored paper and my labels are white and I kind of want the cream as the background as opposed to the white and it's impossible to get labels in this cream color so one little trick that I have done is to actually print the labels out on the same paper that I printed the invitation on and so now when I cut I can cut each one of these out and attach it to my envelope but the only tricky part is this isn't sticky backed so how do I attach it so and my secret is this Super 77 spray adhesive. So first to do this, let's go ahead and cut out an address label. And to do that, I'm going to use the paper cutter again. And you simply just trim like you always do. I like to do this top, top cut first and then down the middle. And you kind of get the idea here. And so to get the two inch mark, I'm just lining this up to two inches. Trim. And then I'm lining up at four inches and trim. So that's how you cut out the address labels. And you would continue doing that obviously for the whole sheet. But the secret in attaching these is using the spray adhesive and the spray adhesive has a tendency to get everywhere and if you have a bunch of labels that you're doing at once I recommend getting an old cardboard box and down on the bottom here I just have these little rubber um, washers it doesn't really matter what you use but the idea is that you want something that you can set the labels on like this so that when you spray you pick this up and you can put the next one on and the little base isn't sticky because if it's sticky and you put your next label on then you get adhesive on the face and that's it doesn't look very good so I'm you could use like a Dixie cup or um, just anything to raise it up just off the bottom there that's not whiter than the address label so now that I have in there I'm going to take my spray adhesive and this is 3M Super 77 multi-purpose spray adhesive. There are several other brands on the market that work just as well. It's just it's a spray adhesive. And by spraying this on here, I'm essentially turning it into a big sticker. So I just spray like so. And you want edge to edge coverage. And I'm going to take it out there. And I like to give it just a few seconds to set up. And then here's my envelope. And then you simply just paste it on. And now you have a perfectly matching cream colored address label to go with your invitation set. And again, this isn't required to make the address labels. You could just as easily print on the label stock and peel and stick on. I just kind of like the way that the cream all coordinates together. So the address label template is a little different than the rest of the templates in the collection in that it actually is using a function called mail merge to make it easy to automatically ad address all of your labels. And if you have, say, a program like Outlook or an address book on your cell phone that maybe has all of your friends and family's addresses, you can automatically export that information into Excel and provided with the template is an Excel file called youraddressdata.xls and you simply open up this file and there's this dummy data in here already and you would just replace it with what you want on the first line of the address label, the street address, the city, state, and the zip. And you would just enter 
another row with all of your information. But it's important that you have these column headers here uh, and that those names don't change. So you want to just add your family and friends into here and then you save the file. And now we're going to open up the Word template that has all the artwork and the pretty fonts in it. So now I'm going to go into Word and let's say File, Open. And I'm just showing you how to open the file because it does give you some kind of funny messages that you may not have seen before. And this file needs to be opened by the Excel blah blah blah. Just click OK. And then it brings up this other window and you just click OK again. And I wanted to show you that because that kind of uh, freaks people out because they're like, what do I press? So I just wanted to show you how the file looks when you open it. So this is how the address label template works. And if you've never uh, dealt with a mail merge before, all these are little placeholders. So saying that column name, that's where we want it here and we want it in the script font. So you don't actually have to touch any of this. But what you do want to touch is this mail merge manager. And if you don't see this when you open the template, to pull it up you go tools, mail merge manager, and it brings up this window. And you want to don't do anything on step one. Go right down here to step two, get list. And you want to go get list and you want to do open data source. And that's where you're going to pick the Excel file that you just put your family and friends addresses in. And you click open. And then it brings up this error message. Just click OK. And it brings up this window again and you click OK. And now essentially you're done. All you need to do is merge it to a new document. But if you want to preview how it's going to look, you see under step five here, preview results, there's this little ABC with the little alligators. Click that and it will actually let you preview how the data looks when it's merged with the template. And if you're happy with the way it looks, you then come down to step six and you hit the second one, which is merge to new document. And now what it's doing is it's actually taken your data file and the template and it's merged it into one file and it's essentially auto addressed all your labels. And at this point you would load the label stock into your printer and print, print out your template just like you do anything else. So I hope you find this mail merge template helpful and a time saver. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or leave a comment in the box below. Enjoy.